Welcome, history enthusiasts and curious minds. Today we embark on a mesmerizing journey through time and across continents. We're exploring some of the most intriguing and magnificent lost cities of the ancient world. Throughout history, civilizations have risen and fallen, leaving behind only whispers of their existence. These were places of power, of cultural richness and architectural magnificence. Today we embark on a journey across continents and through time. We'll explore five awe-inspiring ancient cities. Join us as we unravel the secrets they hold, the tales of their rise and fall, and the legacy they left behind in the annals of history. Chapter 1, Petra, the Rose City. Carved from the rose-colored sandstone cliffs, Petra, once the thriving capital of the Nabataean kingdom, stands as a symbol of ancient architectural prowess and hydraulic ingenuity. Founded as early as the 4th century BC, this city was a bustling trade center, a melting pot of Arabian, Greek, and Roman cultures. Our journey through Petra begins in the Sik, a narrow, winding gorge over a kilometer long. This natural geological feature was transformed by the Nabataeans into a grand entranceway, lined with water channels and ceremonial niches, leading to the city's heart. As we emerge from the Sik, the awe-inspiring view of the treasury unfolds. Despite its name, it likely served as a temple or mausoleum. Petra is not just a collection of spectacular monuments. It's a sprawling city with tombs, temples, an amphitheater, and complex water systems. The Nabataeans were masters of water conservation, a necessity for survival in this desert environment. They engineered an extensive system of aqueducts, dams, and cisterns to collect and store rainwater, turning Petra into an oasis. At its zenith, Petra was a vibrant metropolis, a center for trade, commerce, and culture. Its wealth came from its position on the incense and spice trade routes, connecting the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt, and the Mediterranean. However, the city's fortunes declined. Roman annexation, changing trade routes, and devastating earthquakes led to its gradual abandonment. By the early Islamic era, Petra had fallen into obscurity, known only to local Bedouin tribes. Rediscovered in 1812 by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt, Petra captivated the world's imagination. It was a city lost in legend, a forgotten chapter in human history, now revived for the world to see. Today, Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an enduring legacy of the Nabataeans' architectural genius and their ability to thrive in harsh environments. As we walk through these ancient pathways, we walk in the footsteps of history, uncovering stories etched in stone and sand. Make sure to subscribe and press the like button to join our community of history enthusiasts. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. This way, You'll be notified each week as we uncover more secrets of the past. Your support keeps history alive on our channel. Chapter 2. Machu Picchu, the Inca Citadel. Emerging from the misty heights of the Andes, Machu Picchu stands as a silent testament to the Inca Empire's hidden glory. Built in the mid-15th century, this enigmatic citadel was an engineering marvel, a cultural sanctuary, and perhaps one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world. Machu Picchu's walls, terraces, and ramps reclaim the steep, mountainous terrain, showcasing a mastery of stone masonry. These structures, seamlessly integrated into the landscape, exhibit the Inca's profound respect for nature. The precise craftsmanship is so advanced that it baffles modern engineers. Stones are cut and fitted without mortar, yet they have withstood centuries of earthquakes. The city is a marvel of civil and religious architecture. The Temple of the Sun, with its semicircular construction, aligns perfectly with the solstices. The Intihuatana Stone, meaning Hitching Post of the Sun, is believed to have been used as a solar calendar, vital for agriculture. Machu Picchu might have been a royal estate for Emperor Pachacuti, serving as a retreat and a ceremonial center. The terraces not only prevent erosion but also mimic the Andean cosmovision of harmonizing their environment with the celestial. The Incas displayed exceptional hydraulic engineering. 
The site boasts a complex system of water channels and fountains, providing a sustainable water supply and demonstrating a profound understanding of the natural resources. With the Spanish conquest and the fall of the Inca Empire, Machu Picchu was abandoned. Its remote location shielded it from Spanish discovery, leaving it to be swallowed by the jungle, where it remained hidden for centuries. Rediscovered in 1911 by explorer Hiram Bingham, Machu Picchu intrigued and mystified the world. Its isolation helped preserve its beauty and mystery, making it a symbol of endurance and a whisper from the past, telling the story of a once powerful empire. Today, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Machu Picchu continues to astound and inspire. It stands not just as a testament to Incan engineering and culture, but as a monument to human ingenuity, resilience, and the unyielding mysteries of our history. Chapter 3, Pompeii Frozen in Time Nestled in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii was once a bustling Roman city, rich in culture and vibrancy. In 79 AD, a catastrophic eruption buried it under a thick carpet of volcanic ash, preserving it in a state of suspended animation for over a millennium. The eruption of Vesuvius was both swift and devastating. Ash and pumice rained down on the city, sealing it in a time capsule. This tragedy, while immense, has provided an unparalleled archaeological record of Roman life. As we walk the streets of Pompeii, we tread the same stones as its ancient residents. The city's sophisticated urban layout includes amphitheaters, temples, and baths, reflecting the prosperity and cultural richness of the Roman Empire. Remarkably preserved frescoes adorn the walls of homes and public buildings, depicting scenes of Roman mythology, daily life, and even political graffiti. These artworks offer a candid glimpse into the private and public lives of Pompeii's citizens. One of the most haunting aspects of Pompeii is the plaster casts of its victims. These casts, created by pouring plaster into voids left by decomposed bodies, capture the final moments of the inhabitants, providing a powerful and emotional connection to the past. Archaeological excavations have been ongoing since the city's rediscovery in the 18th century. Each layer unearthed offers new insights into Roman architecture, engineering, and daily life making Pompeii an invaluable site for historical and cultural research. Pompeii, frozen in time, is more than an archaeological treasure. It's a poignant reminder of nature's power and the enduring legacy of human civilization. It continues to fascinate, educate, and resonate with people around the globe, a true testament to our shared history. Chapter 4, Angkor Wat, the Temple City. In the heart of Cambodia, shrouded by the dense jungles, lies Angkor Wat, the largest religious monument in the world. Built in the early 12th century by King Suryavarman II, this temple city is a masterpiece of Khmer architecture, symbolizing the cosmic world and marking the apex of Khmer artistic and architectural prowess. Angkor Wat is adorned with miles of intricate bas-reliefs and carvings, a tapestry in stone telling stories from Hindu mythology, including the Ramayana and Mahabharata. These artworks offer more than religious narratives. They are a window into the daily life, wars, and celestial beliefs of the Khmer Empire. The temple complex is an architectural marvel designed to represent Mount Meru, the home of the gods in Hindu cosmology. Surrounded by a vast moat, the temple features a series of concentric galleries, each level higher and more sacred than the last, leading to the central tower, the symbolic peak of the mountain and the abode of the gods. Originally dedicated to Vishnu, Angkor Wat gradually transformed into a Buddhist site, reflecting the region's shifting religious dynamics. Today, it remains an important pilgrimage site for Buddhists, resonating with spiritual significance. Angkor Wat is but the crown jewel in the vast Angkor complex, which encompasses scores of temples, each with its unique allure. The enigmatic faces of Bayon and the tree-strangled ruins of Ta Prom are testaments to the diversity and creativity of Khmer architecture. The decline of the Khmer Empire in the 15th century saw Angkor Wat abandoned to the jungle. 
Overgrown and forgotten, it was consumed by the forest, hidden away for centuries, only to be rediscovered in the 19th century, bringing its wonders back to light. Angkor Wat stands as a symbol of Cambodia's rich cultural heritage, a monument to human creativity and religious devotion. It is a place where architecture and nature intertwine, a silent witness to centuries of history, inviting us to explore the depths of its past and the mysteries it still holds. Chapter 5. Carthage, the ancient rival of Rome. Nestled on the shores of the sparkling Mediterranean, the ancient ruins of Carthage whisper tales of glory, conflict, and resilience. Founded by the seafaring Phoenicians in the 9th century BC, Carthage rose to become a dominant power, its influence spanning the Mediterranean, challenging even the mighty Roman Empire. Carthage's strategic location made it a hub of maritime trade and cultural exchange. Its harbors teemed with merchants and sailors, linking distant worlds through commerce and navigation, spreading the Punic culture far and wide. The remnants of Carthage, from the sacred Tophet to the majestic Cothon, reveal a city of immense architectural and cultural wealth. The towering city walls, once symbols of its strength, and the opulent Roman baths speak to its periods of prosperity and transformation. Carthage's history is indelibly marked by the Punic Wars. The legendary general Hannibal Barca, with his daring crossing of the Alps, epitomized its military might. Yet the relentless Roman campaigns eventually led to Carthage's destruction in 146 BC. In a twist of fate, the vanquished city was reborn under Roman rule. Rebuilt by Julius Caesar, Carthage emerged anew, its landscape adorned with Roman theaters, villas, and temples, becoming one of the jewels of the Roman Empire. Carthage also played a pivotal role in the early Christian church. It was here that St. Augustine, one of Christianity's most influential figures, lived and wrote, shaping theological thought for centuries to come. As we stroll through the silent ruins of Carthage, we are walking in the footsteps of Phoenicians, Romans, and early Christians, a journey through time, reminding us of our shared heritage and the timeless narrative of human civilization. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through the ancient world. We've traversed deserts, climbed mountains, and walked through lost streets, uncovering the stories of civilizations that once shaped our history. We hope this journey has inspired you, sparked your curiosity, and brought the past a little closer to the present. If you've enjoyed exploring these remarkable lost cities with us, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on our upcoming adventures into history. Your support helps us keep uncovering the secrets of our past and sharing these incredible stories with you.